Alrighty guys, today we're going to go over some simple Python code. We are going to be pulling in the Bitcoin price from the web, saving it to an Excel document, and then graphing it in Plotly. I've seen a lot of questions online on how to do this, and I was one of those people looking around online. It took me a while to figure out exactly how to do it, but uh, we're going to demystify the whole process here and go through the code. So first things first. You have to have Python downloaded and installed on your machine, and I'm using VS Code as the editor. So let's get started. All right, so our first line of code here are going to be packages or imports. So I like having these cells, which is a hashtag and two percent signs, and it sections off your code so they can be run independently. So we're gonna start off with our import, so you can label it here. We're gonna import pandas import Yahoo Finance, date time, open PYX1, and this is so we can save to a uh, Excel document. And then lastly, Plotly for plotting. All right, notice I misspelled this. This is not open uh, PYX1, it's XL for the Excel extensions. So my mistake there. These are imports and you can run them by pressing shift enter. Okay. Now we're gonna move on to pulling the data from Yahoo. So this can really be done with any stock ticker, but today we're gonna be doing a Bitcoin. So here we go. We want to have the start date that we're pulling from. So with Bitcoin's case, I think their data goes back to 2015. Bitcoin 2015, number one. All right, that's our start day. So if we run this cell as it is now, shift enter, and then come over here and type start. It shows what our uh, date time was, so that's nice. All right, we want to do the end date. Make it right now. Okay. Perfect. All right, so to get the uh, Bitcoin price, it's actually a really short line here. Now that we got our start and end date, we're going to pull the Bitcoin price from Yahoo. So this is a pretty simple line of code here. So we're just going to make a data frame, BTC is equal to Yahoo Finance, download, BTC, USD, and we want to pull it from the start date to the end date. Okay, and let's just look at what it looks like. All right, here we go. We have the date, open, high, low, close, adjusted close, and volume. Now note that this date is actually the index. Um, so we're gonna fix that later on. One thing we wanna start off with is, I don't really care about the open, the high, the low, the volume. So we're gonna drop some of that. So let's go ahead and say uh, BTC is equal to BTC.drop. So this is pandas. We're gonna drop out open. All right, let's see if uh, this rolls. So BTC, beautiful. So now we have our date and our close. So this is good enough right now to pull to Excel. So that's gonna be the first thing we do. So this line, this cell right here, this first cell was imports. The second cell was pulling from Yahoo. And then this cell right here is going to be uh, exporting to an Excel document. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna use that uh, open PY Excel package. So we're taking our data frame, BTC to Excel. And then you're gonna type in your uh, location. I'm on a Windows machine, so we're using these double slashes. I want the name of the file to be named BTC underscore price python dot xlsx for the file extension. Okay. And then I want the sheet name. to equal Bitcoin price. Let's 
and with the singles. All right. So that really should be it for the export to Excel. Let's see if that runs. So right now you can see that I have uh, nothing in this folder. So let's run this guy. All right, it says it ran, open the folder. Here's our guy, we'll double click it. All right, we have the date and then the Bitcoin price going back to 2015. Very cool. So I actually set this up in a bat file to run every day. So I have a document that has updated prices. If y'all like that, I can add that to a video in the future. But for now, we're just gonna move on to graphing. So we're gonna be graphing with uh, Plotly. But before we do that, we need to modify this data a little bit to make it prettier. We're gonna modify the data frame. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna move the date from the index to its own column. So you can see right now it is indexed. It is the index. Normally the index would be like 0, 1, 2, 3. In this case, it's just a date. So we wanna move the date. BTC, that's our data frame. Reset index in place equals true. All right, so this moves the index to a column. Let's see if that works. Uh, actually, uh, let's rerun this from the top real fast. Run all cells. There we go, that's better. So we have an index column, we have the date, and we have close. All right, next step is we're going to rename some columns here. So BTC, btc.rename, columns, close. And that's the name of the column right now. But we want to rename it to BTC USD. Like so. All right. So uh, we're just going to run all these cells again. Bam. So you have your index, your date, BTC USD. Great. All right. We're doing good. We're going to do two more things just for fun. We're going to add some uh, simple moving averages. So BTC, we're going to add a new column. We're going to call it simple moving average four year. Okay. And we're going to do BTC for a data frame, BTC USD rolling average. This is the period. So we want to, uh, four years, which is 1460 days. Minimum periods. I'm actually not sure what this does. I guess, uh, I guess you're doing an average, so it doesn't want any zeros in there. And then mean, all right. And we're gonna do the same thing. Let's see, we're gonna do the same thing, but for a two year moving average as well. All right, so, we'll do all right, so let's run all the cells here. Oh, looks like I messed up. Oh, I can't spell rolling. In. All right, let's run all the cells. There we go, simple moving averages, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna move on to graphing. So that's our, that's our data frame there. We wanna graph this data frame with Plotly. First thing to do is, uh, the nice thing about Plotly is the graphs are interactive. I think they look good, and there's really not that much coding here. They're, they're pretty easy to make, so uh, we're going to start off by making a figure. So we're just going to call it fig1. Oh, let's just call it fig. px line. We're going to make a line chart. btc is our data frame. Our x-axis is going to be date. All right. Our y-axis is going to have the Bitcoin price and the moving averages. So we can make a couple things on here. btc usd. Simple moving average, four year. Okay. Simple moving average, two year. 
All right. Now, we're looking at the Bitcoin price here. So everyone likes to look at it on log. I'm just going to move that parentheses to the bottom there. Uh, let's do log. I think if I remember right, it's log underscore y. So for the y-axis, we want the log, and we're going to make that true. Okay. And then the title of our chart. We want this to be nice and bold. So Bitcoin. All right, that's our title. And last thing on this line, we want to do some coloring. Color discrete sequence. It's kind of a weird name, isn't it? All right, color for Bitcoin, we want dark orange, of course. And then the averages, uh, let's go with uh, blue and forest green all right okay let's run all this and see what happens all right i messed up somewhere let's see okay i need a comma my bad all right let's run all this again very nice uh, we need to add show fig or fig.show at the bottom run all the cells very nice okay now we have a figure and that looks pretty good. We have our Bitcoin price. We have our simple moving averages. Um, you can see how you can highlight over the Plotly charts and see the price. So that's pretty cool. Let's see. What else can we do? Uh, we could do some cleanup in Plotly real fast. And then I'll let y'all go. Alrighty, we're over here. I'm gonna. I cleared the interactive window, and I'm gonna rerun this guy. See what it looks like. So yeah, this is the uh, whole deal to the left here. This is how you pull the Bitcoin price from Yahoo, put it into an Excel document, and export it into a folder, and then plot it in an interactive plotly chart. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, this is Redbeard Engineered, signing off.